All right, so I wanted to talk about a couple things real quick. One is this tape dispenser. I had a viewer suggest this, and I had a viewer suggest this in replacing my fanny pack. So I just put this thing together, and I haven't done much to it. But a lot of these things, you know, the tape will stick on there and won't, there, it's not easy to pull up. That one's really good, even better than this one. But I like this one as well. And this one's a lot narrower, obviously, and it's blue. I mean, hey, you can't, you gotta love that. And then we've got the little holder for the pins too. And then the small tape for, I, I use that small tape all the time. I had two different dispensers. So this thing is heavy as I'll get out. So the Accutec scale here, 6.5 ounces. So I'll use it and I'll let you know. But so far, I am absolutely loving it. It is a space saver. But I've got to tell you, I like this one too. So I don't know. We'll see. And of course, you know, the new essential when doing shipping and whatever else. Hey, I got a package from Flippin' Particles, D over at Flippin' Particles. And look at that, pure Michigan. Pure Michigan. So we're going to put that somewhere in here. D, we really do appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. And her t-shirt. I like it. I like it. That's a soft t-shirt too. I have to get me some t-shirts like that. Port and Company. I have to try that out. I'm going to have to give you a call. Stay authentic. Flipping particles. Love it. Thank you so much. I haven't looked in here to see if there's a note. I need to look. That is awesome of you. I appreciate it. Look at all the license plates y'all have given us. We are gonna do a number on this back area. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put these plates like this. I have a bunch from Ohio already, so we'll put the plates all across here and that'll be the Ohio shelf. And then we'll put some, I got a bunch of PA ones, a bunch of Kentucky ones, a bunch of Tennessee ones. So since these are bigger, that's what we'll do there. And then we'll put some back here and we'll make that the, you know, I don't know what, the Utah shelf or the Michigan shelf or whatever. And then each one of these shelves will have that as well. And then the shelves that we're putting in over here will have that. We're going to put a shelf in above this. I'm going to use this for like plush and like some sports equipment. Like each little basket, like baseball will go here. Maybe bats down there or something. Although bats aren't going to fit there. So that is the idea. Once it gets all done and all painted up and ready to go, we'll put those plates on. And of course... The bubble wrap is going to go right through here and is going to come out here so that we can ship with it. And this guy is going to go, probably going to put him back up there. So, at any rate, all right, we are going to do our giveaway in just a little bit. And we're going to be giving away a Rolo or a hundred bucks. All right, so I'm lo loving this thing. You know, I have all kinds of stuff. So I've got to have business cards. I've got to have batteries for that GoPro. I've of course got to have cash and I've got to have change as well. And my little fanny pack that I use, I always dump out my change because the change weighs it down and I have cash falling all over the place. So I can't remember what I paid for this, but I think it was fairly cheap. So I might put a link down there because I am loving it so far. Maybe I'll test it out before I put the link. We'll see. So let me know if y'all use a fanny pack. My uncle laughs at me, so maybe he won't laugh at this so much. Although, yeah, he'll laugh at me anyways, won't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's got this zipper at the top and that giant bag right there too. So it's not just what I showed you on the front. So I'm really liking it so far. Let me know if there's anything out there that y'all use that you like. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are finally to the giveaway day. I've had so many people ask and I meant to do it yesterday, but I got really busy and I had to do shipping and take care of that and do, and do all that stuff. Hey, I have 19 sales today, I think seven are to viewers and it's actually a day and a half worth of sales. So sales are a little slow, but not too far off of normal. And I know a lot of you out there have said your sales are slow. I feel like I need to you know, give you a pep talk or something, you know. If I was teaching history still, we would be, we, we would have just come out of World War II. We would have done, we do a day of World War II. We do AP World, so so history moves really, really fast. We have like two days to do World War II, so we don't have much time. And one of the things we do, we do a lot of primary source stuff in my history class because it's an advanced placement class. So we look at different speeches, FDR speech after Pearl Harbor. We certainly look at Churchill's speeches, a couple of them, but the Darkest Hour speech is the one we really focus on. And I feel like 
that's what that's what so many of us need you know this uncertainty and and all that's going on around us so i'm not going to give you my rendition of the churchill speech but i do remember referring to my students and saying you know churchill was an inspirational speaker but he did it in a much different way than anybody else in history's ever done. I basically say, hey, before you listen to this, A, you're not going to be able to understand it, and it is in English, so I will translate it. But the second thing I tell them is that it's like Eeyore giving them an inspirational speech. And of course, with this young generation, like a third of them don't even know who Eeyore is. But at any rate, I'll spare you the darkest hour speech and we'll just talk about some positives here because, you know, after all, that's all we can do is do the things that we can do and look towards the future because there is going to be a future for sure. So I'm going to try my best to keep this really short. I think I just picked the ones that absolutely had to be shipped today and we're going to put the rest on tomorrow. I think there's four that have to be shipped out today. And we'll throw a couple of thank yous in for some Animan as well. And then we're going to go out there and figure out who's going to win the Rolo or the $100. I don't know if you can see it right here. Can you see that right here? Here's the $100 and here's the Rolo. So we'll see who's going to win either one of those tonight. And I don't know, we might have already done it on this video. So if this is a little out of sequencing, just forgive me. I do the video in parts and then I put it together at the end. <laughs> Whatever works, works. I'm also going to give you a little bit of a tour of the backside and the front side of the Commonwealth cabin. We are just inches away from being done. And I was doing quite a bit of work out there today. And Travis is back right now working on that thing. And he says he'll be done in two hours and he's going to get out of there. So we'll see about that. I'm really excited and we'll do a few more things before we get in there. But we are getting very, very close. And thank you all for your support. We have so many license plates and it's going to look awesome once we get them all up. And I do appreciate all of your support out there in so many different ways. And so, so many people are still being generous to the program by buying in a man buying grateful dead cds and we are very appreciative of it but uh, we know there's a lot of folks out there who need it too so anyway right, thanks so much for joining us and we are going to take a look at what's sold today all right this one is going out to michelle m-a-c-h-e-l-l-e -L -L -E. i think i have that right it says thank you for all the entertaining youtube videos you are very welcome and we appreciate it very much and we hope he brings you great luck all right these cassettes going out for a total thirteen dollars twenty one cents and they will definitely stay under 16 ounces. Pretty cool. I love I love selling that shirt, that uh, 19 early 1980s shirt that had that logo, that emblem on it, that Maxell. It's kind of a classic logo. And these are brand new in the package. Got them at a garage sale entitled "The Price Was Right" at this garage sale. I think I think that was the title, anyways. And you can go back. Maybe if I can remember, I'll link it. So it's not a not a huge profit on this, but we like selling these things, especially because they're in multiples. I got a stack of them up there in the corner. It just struck me that I'm still wearing this thing. You'll see it either later in the video or uh, or you've already seen it one or the other. But I better take it off. All right, this one is going out to Stephanie. And Stephanie, we hope he brings you great reselling luck. You know, I never show the backside of it. It says Inaman on the back. So maybe I should show that. So it's the Fleet Inaman. Still have viewers, by the way. A lot of new people subscribe every day. And people are like, what is that thing you're holding up? And I always have to answer, so... Anyway, there are still folks out there who don't know the world-famous Animan. Sold one of these. I guess somebody wants to be entertained while uh, stuck in their house. And it's a B2 Stealth Bomber one. And it is one of the cheapest ones we've sold. $7.81 free shipping. So just a couple dollars of profit into this one. Probably a little bit more than that. About three fifty. dollars Alright, this one's going out to Camille. And she says, need for my eBay room, LOL. Got to get with the in crowd. <laughs> Great videos. So, you know, I suppose you're right. They're going to run out eventually. According to this, I have 648 left. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll make it to summer. What do you think? What do you think? I think so. And don't forget, and I get a couple every day. If you have Instagram, go to Instagram. And I'm Commonwealth Picker on Instagram. Uh, my kids have one too, Homeschool Hustlers. And uh, go ahead and go there and hashtag Commonwealth Picker and in a man and i love it i love looking those up they make me laugh every day all right i'm gonna take this one out of the bag because it makes a bunch of noise and that drives me nuts i'm sure it drives you nuts too so this is i guess it's a soccer bag y'all tell me i'm not a soccer guy so you got to tell me is this a soccer bag and what country is it from i'm not quite sure i'm pretty sure that's soccer though i listed it what did i list it as i listed it as a soccer bag triple shoes so this thing expands like an accordion. So it is a soccer bag. It's brand new with tags. 
And I bought this thing. This is the longest of long tail items. I paid a couple bucks for it at a sale two and a half years ago. And you might say, how in the world do you remember that? It's because of what else I bought at that sale. I bought some things from a Liberty University coach and they had tons and tons of Liberty stuff. And I remember that. And I remember getting this as a last thing. It wasn't a throw in, I paid for it. It wasn't like a bundle deal. I had already done the bundle deal and then I saw that. And then I thought it had a $5 tag on it. And I'm like, you know what? I bought so much, they're gonna give this to me for a couple of bucks. And I don't remember if I paid two or three, but they did. It sold for $22 free shipping, but it'll go first class. So I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have bought it again because it took so long, but you know, it's gonna be a $10, $11 profit after fees, after shipping and after cost of goods. So I like to sell bags, especially if they're gonna stay under 16 ounces and they're flat. So I've got no problem whatsoever selling bags, but this one was extremely long tail. All right, we're gonna stop it right there, even though we have quite a few more. Like I said, I've been busy today. I've been doing some things around the yard. I've been playing with the kids outside a little bit and I've been working on that Commonwealth cabin. So I'm just gonna ship these things out today and the rest we're gonna ship out tomorrow and stay tuned and good luck to everybody out there. We hope you win something. And if you don't, I think we're gonna give away uh, this thing on the Commonwealth Flipper channel and I'm going to give away a Misfit Inaman in the next day or two or maybe three, maybe early next week. I haven't decided yet, but we'll do a giveaway on that channel too. So thank you all so much for joining us and join us, I think, upstairs. I might bring the kids down here. We might go out in the Commonwealth cabin. I'm not sure, but one way or another, we're going to give away either the Rolo printer or this big giant pile of cash, which of course probably won't be a big giant pile of cash. It'll be a transfer into your PayPal account. All right, everybody, the time has finally arrived, and only one person's going to win, so I'm so, so sorry. But, you know, you never know. They might not claim their prize, so we'll, uh, we'll give them, I don't know, let's say we'll give them a week to claim their prize. And you'll have to send me an email, commonwealthpickergmail.com, and then I will respond to your email and tell you how to claim your prize and how to verify that you are you. All right? And we're going to have, I don't know, maybe both of you get to hit the button at the same time. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. And so you're going to win either a hundred bucks. You're going to get a hundred bucks richer, or you're going to get an awesome Rolo printer. Does that sound like a good idea, y'all? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we are going to have to put you guys in front of the screen over here, and we're going to give it a go. All right, we are going to finally pick this here. And do you want to hit this button, Turner? Yes. Get YouTube comments right there. All right, you hit that one. And we'll get our comments. There are a total of 677 comments. That's a lot of comments, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Reagan, go for it. All right, let's get a winner. And it's going to be E Man. <laughs> E man, is that Anna man? Yeah. Did Anna man win? <laughs> Did you win, buddy? <laughs> yeah. All right, E man, yeah. hundred bucks. Heard about your channel from Harry Tornado. Thanks for the content. Helps a lot. First video was I can't believe this sold on eBay. All right, so E man, you have one week to contact me. And we will get this out to you as soon as possible. I think the Enderman did win because he has the hundred dollars already. You think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to uh, probably send that out in PayPal. I don't want to send $101 bills in the mail, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank y'all.